Hi and welcome back to Quinoa Pod Creations uh, tutorial videos. In today's quick tip video, um, I'm going to show how to do uh, change color direction when you're doing pico edging. So when I start my pico edging, I start it at the top of the earring or the medallion or whatever I'm putting the edging on. And the first part of the pico edging is the three beads. So those three beads will kind of be the center piece of of the direction, the color change. So then I will add the two beads in a different color that continue the pico edge. And I'm going to use the several colors so in this case, I'm going to be using the fire colors, yellow, orange, red, and black. So I just continue this pico edging. So every time I add two more beads of the pico, um, there'll be a different color. And they'll, so they'll be kind of going in the same direction and it will look like a slant. So just kind of continue adding the couple more colors. And then once I have several colors that I want on there, you can see that the the two picos are looking making it look like a slant down. And then now I'm um, I'm going to change the directions here by using um, two white, and then I'm going to add a white and a red to go in a different direction. So from here on, and the, so the white will is in inverted. So from here on, it will be one bead of the previous color and one bead of the next color to uh, for the two pico. So then the color is going to change that direction and slant. And so the beginning is the three pico regular and in the middle to change the direction is inverted. And then so you're adding the colors um, in a different direction. So that's how to change colors in your pico edging and it will make it look real nice when you're going around the edge um, to be able to see that color change. If you use the right amount of colors then it will look turn out real nice. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video for um, changing colors in the pico edging. I um, hope that it helped you and you learn something from it. So I appreciate you stopping by. Come by and join my Creation Corner Beading Circle. That's why we do our live uh, Zoom sessions on Sundays. Please answer all the questions in order to get in the group or you won't be let in. So and then if you want you can stop by my um, website at www.quinwapawcreations.com and see what I have there and check out my blog. So I appreciate it. I'm glad you stopped by. See you next time. Thank you.